He's not very useful, is he? He mustn't know not know what the lever does either. Yeah. Look, right now here's mission twenty one ten. Previously on mission twenty one ten. Futuregate is overrun by roboids, and I need help to destroy them. So far, I've summoned eight young recruits and tested them with missions of stealth, dexterity, logic, and bravery. Sadly, six of them fell victim to the dreaded vaporizer. But two recruits, Millie and Callum, have proved themselves worthy of a place in my elite team. I now need two others to join them. Together, we will shut down this evil for good. Mission 2110 is set in the future, and the adventures you are about to see are controlled by trained professionals. Please do not try any of the missions performed in the show at home. They're strong, almost unstoppable, but we can do it. We can take back Earth if we work together. We built them to be our friends. We built them to serve us. On Earth and worlds far away. But out there, somewhere, something went wrong. They returned to destroy us all. Well, almost. The fight back starts here. With you. This is Mission 2110. Time is running out. For Earth, for humanity, for me, maybe even for the universe itself. Who knows what will stop the Roboids if we don't? They're strong, intelligent, deadly, and there are thousands of them. This is their only weak point, a bio rod, the source of their energy. Get our hands on enough of these and the can heads have got a serious problem. This is mission 2110. Let battle commence. Well, I'm getting kind of used to this now. Check me out. And my skills to pay the portal bill. Ah. Hello there, gang. I hope you've enjoyed travelling through the last hundred years. Are you the best recruits in all the world? Yes! Are you brave and fearless? Yes! Are you going to cook me some spaghetti hoops on toast? Yes! Really? Oh, brilliant. But apart from the hoops, there is one little extra favour I need you to do me, and that is helping me defeat over a hundred thousand roboids. What's your strategy? The roboids will see me bang down to my brains. Oh, yeah. An impressive claim. But these roboids are armed with rip claws, vector beams, and sensory technology. What special features do you have? My beautiful face. Oh, fair dues. And you? What about you? Are you as strong as a nine-foot-tall roboid? Oh, yeah. Any day. Right. Very confident lot. And what's this? What happened to your hair in the time portal? Nothing. I left my style at home. What's your excuse? Hmm. Cheeky devil. I shall be setting plenty of missions to test you, recruits. Only the strongest will survive. To earn your recruit wings, you must grab as many of these bad boys as you possibly can by defeating the Futuregate forces, by beating the Roboids in the Shades. Who likes the smell of rotten eggs? Oh, oh well, I'm afraid the Shades smell plenty worse than that. This way. OK, my friends, your part in the Resistance starts here with a logic mission. So first, a quick test to discover what kind of brains you guys are packing. Juliet, what's two plus two? Four. Ah, brilliant. You'll do fine. As brains here, as no doubt already deduced, this mission is something to do with those steel cages on the upper level. But you're also going to be facing the shades. Not overly friendly, certainly overly smelly. You must never touch them. If you do, you're out of the mission for good. The Shades have been instructed to safeguard some bio rods up here by locking them in these cages. Three padlocks and a big pile of chains are in your way. The third padlock is inside the cage. Unlock this one to release a spanner that will help you free that precious bio rod. And I've got to warn you, recruits, as your time begins to run out, more Shades will approach. When that happens, 
get out fast. Remember, you can always panic button your way out of a mission if you get trapped. But if that happens, you will lose all your bio rods. Okay, guys, good luck. Two this way, two that way. Go for it. Jailbreak. Mission on. Time is not on your side, and those shades are fast approaching. Remember, recruits, you have to pick up those metal rods and use the magnets on the end to retrieve those keys. Three keys, three padlocks, and the shades are always approaching, so you've got to move swiftly. Well done, Juliet and Isaac. You've both managed to hook your first keys. Now get unlocking those padlocks. First padlock undone, Isaac. Great work, Juliet. Same for you. That's it, Theo. You've got your first blue key. Excellent. Now quickly, unlock that padlock. OK, recruits, this is a timed mission. You have to unlock those bio rods before the shades close in. How stinky are those shades, Theo? Stink! Come on, Georgia. You need to oh. concentrate on getting that first red key. Got the second key. Got I've got a second key. Got a second key. Excellent, recruits. You're doing really well. Unlock your second padlocks to get into your cages and reach your third key. But you've got to watch out for the shades. They're getting closer and closer. Great work, Isaac. Second padlock undone. Juliet, that's your second too. How are you doing, Isaac? Got the door open. That's great. So you've got to move in. Theo, that's your second padlock. Well done. Release that tool and use it to unlock the bio rod. Georgia, you're finally unlocking your first padlock, but you've got to get a move on. Those stinky shades aren't far behind. I've got a third key, guys. Brilliant, Juliet. Now unlock that last padlock and grab the spanner. Let's get that bio rod secured. Theo, final key. Now get your spanner. Georgia looks like you're struggling. Get a move on. Isaac, you've unlocked your final padlock. Now get your spanner and get undoing those bolts. Theo and Juliet, you're going to have to undo those bolts quicker. Those shades are fast approaching. Georgia, at last you've unlocked your second padlock. Now get in the cage. You may have left it too late. Those shades are almost on top of you. There's only 30 seconds to go. You have to get a move on. Remember your panic buttons. We use them and lose them. This place is about to get very stinky indeed. More shades are approaching. 10 seconds to go. Juliet, that's you out of the mission. You're going to have to get out soon. Isaac, get out. That shade is directly behind you. Sadly, no bio rods. Bad luck, recruits. This was a really, really tough mission, and there, there are bits that I found very, very tricky. But I think now I know what the missions are going to be like, and I've smelled the shade, I think I will find it a bit easier in the future. I think I did really well in Chain Break. However, I would have done a bit better if I'd used the right end of the rod from the start. The shades were terrifying. They smell horrible. They look just like my head teacher back in Nottingham. I'm annoyed that I didn't get any bio rods, but first mission, there's plenty more to get. Um, I'm sure I'll at least get one. Tell you what, if nothing else, these roboid claws make wicked drumsticks. Actually, I better not be too loud. I don't want the roboids getting wind of where I'm hiding. I mean, I know they can't fit in through the door, but they could seriously ruin my fun. I mean, they could seriously destroy my resistance HQ. These recruits haven't started off well. No bio rods at all in chain break. Though I'm confident that maybe one of them will be strong enough to join Millie and Callum in my elite team and rid the world of these rust buckets for good. Actually, as well as making great drumsticks, these are very handy around the house. Okay, recruits, for your next mission, I'm looking for bravery. I need true courage. I'm looking for recruits who won't even flinch in the face of fear. Boo! Yeah, let that be a warning. I need recruits who are steady of heart and steady of hand, as you're going to be coming up close and personal 
with a worker. These heavy metal brutes are equipped with pincer claws, so strong they could crush a car crusher into the same size as a car that had been crushed by a car crusher. So don't get too close. Your mission is to meet one and unfix it. You'll find three pressure switches here on its body, two on the arms, one in the center of its chest. Depress all three without the alarm sounding and you'll gain yourself a trio of bio rods. If you're the sort of person who can thread a needle, then maybe you'll find this an easy gig. OK, Georgia, you're up first. Let's see those hands, see if they're steady. Yeah, not bad, not bad, but look at that. Solid as a rock. I've never tried it with this hand, but I'm sure I'd be excellent. OK, Georgia, go for it. Go! Good luck! Good luck. Mission on. If you make connection with any of those rings, the alarm will sound and the worker will get you. OK, now there are three bio rods to be gained here, Georgia. So take a deep breath. Let's get cracking on that first one. Be careful, Georgia. One false move and you'll reactivate that worker. Hold your nerve, recruit. You're doing well. You're almost there, Georgia. Slowly does it. disappointed and angry with myself that I still haven't got any bio rods, but in the next missions I'm really, really going to put 100% effort into trying to get a bio rod, because I'm not out of the game yet. Mission on. Well, that's it, take that metallic rod, and very slowly and carefully, let's work on getting you your first bio rod. Remember, there are three up for grabs, take it easy. Although this drone-class roboid is at the moment inactive, just one false move and it'll power up. Careful, Juliet. Keep that bar straight. You're so close. You're almost at that pressure pad. Make contact and the bio rod is yours. Congratulations, Juliet. That's one bio rod in the bank. Things get harder now as the security rings get much narrower. Breathe slowly, recruit, and no sudden movements. Those rings are wired up to the workers' electronics, Juliet, so make sure you avoid contact at all costs. Excellent work, Juliet! That's two bio rods. Can you make it a third? Juliet, you're on the final rings. Hold your nerve, that third bio rod is in sight. Even though he, he was being fixed, he still had something in his eyes, and it was very, very scary. Mission on. OK, Isaac, take your time. There are three bio rods up for grabs, so be careful. Hold that bar nice and steady. It just takes one touch to sound the alarms. <laughs> Great stuff, Isaac. That bio rod's yours. Things get harder now as the security rings get much narrower. Breathe slowly, recruit, and no sudden movements. This will take all of your powers of concentration, so take your time, Isaac. Isaac, you're nearly there. Just keep your cool. Congratulations, Isaac. That's two. Grab that second one from its claw. The rings are much narrower. Can you get that final bio rod? Take your time. No hasty moves. is Theo, just because he's really, really good. Although he doesn't seem it at first, I can see it in his eyes that he's the one that I should be looking out for. I should be watching my back. Mission on. OK, Theo, there are three bio rods up for grabs. If you get them all, this is your chance to steal the lead. Nice and steady, Theo. One wrong move and it'll be mission over. You need to have a steady hand for this mission. Take your time. Oh, 
Hold your nerve, recruit. You're doing well. Good work, Theo. That first bio rod's yours. Take it from its claw. Theo, those rings are getting narrower. Be careful not to reactivate that worker. Keep calm. Mission over. It was amazing meeting the worker roboid because it had the big pincers and it was scary and the big flashing glowing eyes. A message to the shades and the roboid so you can back off because I'm coming. Attention please. This is a FutureGate security announcement. This is a FutureGate security announcement. Would all battle commander and drone class roboids kindly report to upper deck, where the plank situated at the rear end of the ship is waiting for you to take a walk off it. Oh, it might work. It's pretty hard to stay positive. There's still thousands of the roboids left for me and the recruits to defeat. I've got faith in this lot, and the best bit about them is they don't smell as bad as those shades. So, onward and upward, or rather downward, to the engine. Okay, recruits, your part in the resistance continues here with a dexterity mission. We need to keep a very low profile as we've snuck into the very centre of the Futuregate fuel store. If you look down there, you'll see a big, ugly worker. These brutes are also known as drone-class roboids. They're incredibly strong, but not very bright. Imagine the power of a weightlifter with all the brains of a dumbbell. Your mission, recruits, is going to see you working in pairs. So have a look at this control panel. More importantly, this override key. As soon as I slot it in place, then bang, that roboid's off on a mental safari while we take control of its body. One control each. This one is for left and right, this one's back and forward. You've got a button for punch and a button for kick. Your mission is to guide the worker all around the fuel store, demolishing everything in its way. Use its pincer claw to smash that fuse box and it'll power down. And you'll be able to run in and grab two bio rods. Isaac, Georgia, you're up first. Good luck and get wrecking! Test. Mission on. Forward. Forward! We've got to control this roboid all the way into destroying as much stuff as we can. Let's start with these toxic barrels. Forward! Punch! Forward! Right! You'll need to be more specific than that. Punch! Excellent work. Left! Now let's move on to those radioactive canisters. Forward! Forward! Left! Forward! 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 One minute left. Forward. Remember, you can only use one control at a time. Kick, right. kick, kick. Make light work of the toxic barrels, recruits, but time is always running out, so move that roboid quickly. Right. Kick. Just 30 seconds left. Forward. You'll need to be a little bit closer if you want to take out those nitro pipes. Back. Back. Recruits, you have to try and steer that worker free quickly. Left. 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 Just 15 seconds left and still two piles Forward. of supplies to smash up. Left. Recruits, I'm sorry, but it was incredibly close. You failed this mission. In the mission, I didn't think we got the bio rod because we weren't communicating with each other, just kept on talking over each other. I don't really agree with that because even though we were talking over each other a little bit, I think we were quite patient with each other, and I think it's just down to luck. Mission on. OK, Juliet and Theo, let's break up this supply store. Five obstacles stand in your way of those two bio rods. First, let's bash up those toxic barrels. Forward! Run! Run! Excellent work, recruits. Left! 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 Forward! 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 This is a timed mission, recruits. Forward! Forward! And you have one minute left. Now, let's see about those nitro pipes. Forward! 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 Looking up your act, recruits. Time's running out. Right! Forward! Okay, recruits, just 30 seconds left. Forward! Don't forget, Isaac and Georgia failed in this mission. So this is your chance, Juliet, to get ahead. Ah! Left! Left! 
20 seconds. Get a move on. This is a far cry from a remote control toy, recruits. Congratulations, recruits. You got there just in time. Now run down there and collect those bio rods. Excellent work, Theo. Juliet, get your hands on those bio rods. You've earned them. Congratulations. Yes. Completely be in control of a massive robot. We're only tiny. Now they know what it's like to be scared of us. They should watch out in the future because the recruits are coming. <laughs> Cybelle. Galen, how are the recruits coming along? Good. They're good. Good enough? Don't worry. The cannons are going down this time and staying down. I hope so. The time will soon be here. No more training challenges. But you can do it, Caleb. I know. You make me very proud. I hope my dad would be too. I'm sure he would. Your father was a wonderful man. If it wasn't for Simeon, there wouldn't be any recruits. You mean he built the time machine? Temporal physics were his life's work, even when people said he was mad. And that was an awful lot of people. And what happened to him? Did the Roboids kill him? He vanished from V-Lab. The temporal physics lab? His lab? You mean he... No one knows. But the lab was locked from the inside. There was no one else there. And there was only one other way out of that room. The time machine? That's when the lab was closed down. But I would sit there every day for the rest of my life, waiting for him. I still am. Okay, recruits. We're here in the Futuregate recharging facility, where you're going to have an electrifying experience, as this mission's going to see you come face to face with the fiercest of all Roboids, the War Droid. These battle-class beasts have evolved beyond their initial purpose, defending humans, to become an engine of human destruction. The aim of this mission is to get down there and overload that War Droid, destroying it before it finishes recharging and destroys us. By connecting these cables in the correct sequence, you'll be able to send a surge of electricity into that roboid that'll light it up like a Christmas tree and make it drop all its needles. If you manage to pull that off, you'll certainly have earned your bio rods, one each to the successful pair of recruits. Georgia, you've yet to collect any bio rods. How are you going to improve your tally? I'm going to keep my head in the mission and put 100% effort into everything I do. Glad to hear it. OK, recruits, get in there and bring me its bolts. <laughs> Mission on. Theo and Georgia, you're connecting yellow cables. And Juliet and Isaac, you're connecting blue cables. Connect the cables in the right order so that we can send a surge of power through this charging machine and toast that metalhead. Three, got two threes. There are five connections to make, and only one combination will work. You go that side. Quick, quick, quick. Get a move on, recruits. Remember, that war droid is charging up the whole time. Yeah, but find that, yeah. Put it in, put it in. Yeah. No, Good no, work, no. Theo and Georgia. One yellow cable down. Four to go. Oh, sorry. You, you, you work on that, I'll go to the next one. Isaac and Juliet, that's your first blue connection made too. This battle-class war droid is one of the most dangerous varieties in Futuregate, so let's bust its circuits to help the resistance. Time is ticking away, recruits. That war droid is gradually powering up. Do you want to be here when he finishes his recharge cycle? I certainly don't. OK. Are you sure? Well done, yellow yeah. recruits. That's another cable in position. OK, that's okay, that's his five. Isaac, that's Juliet, stay in close communication. Three and five. That's a five, that's a five. This one here. Yes. There are three okay. options for each section of the charging machine. Juliet, I think this one's wrong. Blue recruits, looks like you're very close to completing that circuit. You have to work at speed. We don't want that war droid powering up and attacking you. Yes, next one. Which right. one did I lose? One, two, three, four, five. 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 three more connections to go for Theo and Georgia. Sure it's five. And those yeah. bio rods will be theirs. Can Juliet and Isaac stop them? Come on. Okay. 
Oh no, wrong side, wrong side, wrong side. No, it was the wrong one. This one was me. Sorry. That's it. Work as a team recruit. It's the only way to defeat this roboid. Come on, Isaac, we can do this. Yeah, this one's it. Okay. One, three, three. It's not Finn. It's not Finn. It's going to be a Is close race Finn? to those levers. Five. Only totally a complete connection will allow that surge of electricity to get this war droid nice and toasty. Come on. Boy, they're, they're done. Have you got done it, done it, done it. Go, go, go. Brilliant. You've done it. Pull the lever, pull the lever. Let's sap a bajillion volts into this battle class fully. Get in there. Get those bio rods, guys. That's it. One each. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Juliet, Isaac, how do you feel? Amazing. <laughs> well done, high five. The wardrobe was so scary. It was even scarier than the work of Roboid. It was massive. I'm so annoyed I didn't get to blow it up. Overload went a dream. It went like a dream. It was really good. Once we got into it, we were just working was... like a well-oiled machine. Attention, please, attention, please. This is a future gate travel announcement to all customers awaiting the arrival of the delayed 215 Wardroid from Cargo 5. I'm afraid this service has been entirely terminated due to banana peel on the stairs. <laughs> Unlucky. Furthermore, anyone wishing to upgrade from drone class to battle class will no longer be able to due to the recent destruction of both by the Resistance. And finally, will the shade who left a mouldy sock on platform four please come and claim it from lost property? It's dangling out the window on a bit of string. Many thanks. That is all. Well, gang, a successful day, Boyd busting. But I'm afraid from here on in it's going to get scarier and harder. One of you will be leaving the mission for good, and whoever that is will be determined by the toughest test of all, a test that's so scary it makes my hairs stand on end. Even the wire hairs on my bionic arm. A test called the Vaporizer. The Roboids must be destroyed. They are the enemy and they'll stop at nothing to harm you. If you're brave enough to face the Vaporizer, you will face danger, but you will have the chance of victory. One false move, one wrong step will end your mission, perhaps even your very existence. That's what's in store for my recruits in phase two. 49 triangular steps of terror, three massive roboids, and a one-way ticket home for one of them. That's if they get sent home. The Vaporizer. It sends shivers through me. Two of my elite team are already in place, Millie and Callum. So we shall see what happens next time on Mission 2110. Caleb. We will see if next time you get any further with your futile efforts. You think you band of puny recruits can defeat me? Rid future gate of the Roboids. You should know by now, little hero. Resistance is futile. You will never defeat me, Caleb. Never. Oh, hello! Sorry, how, how long have they been here? I just when I said the back then, just oh. just now. Yeah, hello! Welcome to the Ever Professional, me, Ian Sterling. And coming up next, we've got some shot in the sheet. But before that, big news, we have found a mystery lever. It's it, a mystery, isn't it? It is one of their mysteries. We don't know what it does, no. but uh, I've 100% fixed it. So that's good news, isn't it? But I had my eye out, didn't I? What did you do again? It's... What I said, lever d down a it bit. Didn't help. Yeah. didn't help one little bit. Uh, we're about to find out what it does right now. You ready? Yeah, yeah. pull it in. Here we go, here we go. Oh! Oh, look, Ian, a lovely brew. A milky brew. And it's perfect. Oh, Ian, nice. I want one. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Right, sweet. Yeah, I want a brew. Oh. Package for CBBC. Let's chuck up here, mate. Is it a milky brew in a box, Ian? I don't think they do milky brews in boxes, but I'll have a check. No. Oh, no, it's not his best hair award. I've won, uh, I've won first place. Where's my milky brew? No, mate, you don't understand. See, what happens is if you pull the lever, something good happens to you. Oh, that's nonsense, Ian. 
Just you wait. Uh. Oh. Ian, I've had the sudden urge to organise your hair product. Is that OK? Certainly is. Cool. <laughs> Oh, see? Ian, can I have a go? No, cool stuff. Always has to be believe or someone to do it. 